And I've got a load of offcuts. Do you remember from the various door projects? This is the tongue and groove floorboarding uh, that we've used for the barn doors. So I've got a fair bit of this. I've got another five or six pieces of this sort of length. And I thought we could make um, a bird box. No, no, no joinery, just uh, um, well, anyway, let's show you what let's show you what I mean. And I've always been pr impressed with chefs on television when they're chopping their vegetables up. Um, I have to do something similar to my pencils. When you buy these carpentry pencils, they're not circular, so you can't put them in a, a sharp there. So I've got quite I've got quite good at doing the same sort of thing as the chefs do. There we go. Don't show mum. Okay. Tongue and groove, which means each piece of timber has a tongue and a groove. And normally you'd, um, where are we? Normally you'd have them, as we've done with all the doors, you have them flush like this and it makes a nice joint. Uh, and you bring them together, but that's obviously no good because we want all of our joints to be um, at 90 degrees. I think what I'm going to do is just take, go down onto the table saw and take the tongue and grooves off of all of these planks, and then we'll just have square timber to use. Um, and then so the joints, well, the joints themselves will just be glued and tacked uh, like this. Yeah, I'll take the tongue off first. Let's do that. Okay, so we've got our lengths of timber, all nicely squared off. Okay, what I'm going to do is make a small, medium and large uh, bird box and have them as a cluster. So I think the the tallest ones here, these four boards here, I'll make into two, and then this one can be one. So let's put these to one side. We've got more, more than enough, more than enough timber here. So we need to bring these four together because this one we're making a small and medium-sized one. This one will be the small one. So I just want to get these absolutely, absolutely square. So I'm just going to run a plane over. Just need to do the, the roof profile now. Roof profile. Forty five degrees. Let's cut them together if we can. We've just got to cut 
uh, that profile now to meet up with the run of the roof. Okay. Okay, we'll just quickly fill the um, the nail heads. Okay, so that's the first one done. The uh, fillers is drying. Now we just need to do exactly the same again. So probably skip over these stages to get the large one and the medium one. So let's get on with that.
Okay, there we go. We're not sure whether we're going to mount it on a pole, a post, or in a corner somewhere, in the corner of the house, if we can get, if we can get it high enough. Uh, I need to put another coat of green on the, on the roof tiles where we've got some bleed through from the lighter paint underneath. But other than that, it's pretty much done. A very quick project uh, using up all of our waste material. So there's a bit of barn door in, in that bird box. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a go yourself. It's really therapeutic and it's not challenging. It's good fun. Um, so yeah, until the next time.